musician. What do, what do you know? That you're a musician. That's why I'm interviewing you today. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the f that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I act. I'm a TV star too, a young mom. Uh -huh. I Just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician huh? or whatever the f you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I not what, magician. I don't think. Huh? Baby, but, I don't think. What is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. So you you think. I didn't say magician, Suki. I said musician. <laughs> and I think you are a musician. No, baby. I do music. Bruh. Just really quick. For the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. Bruh. So in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. It's almost hurtful to me to watch her be so dumb. I mean, it's stuff that y'all like to do in y'all culture. So it's like, I don't feel like you would not accept me, but it's like this. Stop the car, I got a piss. He just ate my ass. He wanna switch. Now I'm, um, you know what to say. What are we doing? I, I really don't Eating know. Eating his Okay. You don't have to act like you never did it. Because one of my good friends, she's older than me and she's my manager. She said when she was in school, high school, that all the white girls was eating <laughs> in high school and it's okay. Okay. So like when I made the song, I made it to piss people off, but then I found out it's a whole community and then I just did um, a show in Vegas. All my fans were white girls and they were singing my song and I couldn't believe it. And I was like, wow, okay, so this is a thing. You know, songs like that, they are stories that people can identify with. You know what I mean? Anybody. Children were singing this song at graduations, at weddings, at funerals. So yeah, eating his <coughs> Eating his <coughs> We be eating. <coughs> Amazing. I love those lyrics. Thank and I'm you. happy that you found a community who uh, has the same goals. Do you remember the Karate Kid movies? That's you? Yep. You're Jackie Chan? Come here. Get closer. Was that a joke? But do you know, you know the difference between Jackie Chan and Pat Morita? Who's Pat Morita? Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi is Jackie Chan. Jaden Smith? Karate Kid? Did you? Wait, oh, oh, dude, right, okay. Were you trying to accuse me of being racist? At, at first I thought, but yeah. you weren't. Thank you. So I apologize. Uh, I, my bad. You're just old. So what do you do for a living? My life literally revolves around my kid. I work for him. You work for him? Yeah. What's his job? That was funny. Ha ha ha. I'm saying, like, I go to work. So oh, can, I thought you meant you like work for yeah, him. Yeah, he's the purpose that I work. He's the yeah. reason. He's the reason why I work. That's a better way to say it. <gasps> Are you good at spelling? Mm. Uh, sure. Spell porcupine. <sighs> P O R Q. Really? Really? There's no Q. I think it's a C U P I N E. Por porky porcupine. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty I don't know hard how to spell one. that. Oh, really? Can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Offset. That's your real name? I changed it. Okay. Your license, if you showed me right now, it says Offset. I don't carry a license. You don't drive? I do. Does someone else carry the license for you? You ask a lot of questions, you the feds. Good question. Uh... <sighs> Do you have any tattoos? Cool. I do. I have one on my back. On your what? My back. Do you not have a back? You kind of said Bach. What's that? Mm. Like Maybach? I when didn't you say that. that. You said Bach. Play it back. Play it back. I have one on my back. I have one on my back. I have one on my back. Guaranteed gonna... you said Bach. I guarantee I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have all my kids on the back of my leg, their faces. Why on the back of your leg? Because I got their back. Did you even think of that until right now? You thought you had me, but you didn't. Right. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Because I'm cool. You think that makes you look cool? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How much were they? Three ninety nine. You stole them? Never. They gave them to you as a gift? 
you on to something on what each, about your on chain hold on, hold on you drilling me let's see what's your chain this is my interview it's not yours well, she really came that way all right i mean it's ours no i'm interviewing you and i'm allowing you to interview me it's a partnership you don't have to ask me questions i want to oh Okay. Why were you late to our interview? It was five minutes. I mean... I tried to valet my car. You, my mama always would tell me... She At least let me finish my excuse. Go ahead. I was trying to valet my car. Okay. You gotta be on time, man. Oh, Wasting you. people time. Man. I'm sorry. I don't accept your apology the same way you did. Except mine. When did I not accept your apology? I don't remember either. You want a shot? No. Well, that's rude. Of alcohol? No. What of water? I breastfeed my children. Do you want to get them drunk? Is that what you're trying to do? No. It affects the breast milk. It does. You didn't take a drink. Are you lying I'm to saying, the people? What are you... Because I watched you take do you, a drink. I'm just letting you know I watched you take a drink. Oh, that's Prior true. Prior to the interview? You forgot? I did. There's a cup on the table that's not water. Look I had that. a sip of it. Hello, bozo. So you're a liar. Okay, but I was... That's not what I was even... That's not the point of what I was uh, saying. You're a liar. Can you let me finish my sentence? Why did you lie? How about that? What was the point of the lie? What do you do for a living? Huh. I'm an artist, you know? An artist? Yeah. Artist. What do you do? I interview people. Why? Because I want to get to know them. Why do you want to get to know me? Um, I didn't. You did. Your team reached out to mine. Don't cap. And that's just really? how I felt. Really? She's explaining it to you. Yeah, I'm just saying really. Let's not cap about that. Let's not put, let's not flex for the ground. Uh-oh. C-A-P. <laughs> Cap. I honestly don't know how this came about. I'm not gonna lie to you. Me either. Okay. Well, my team could have reached out to yours. Oh, really? <sighs> that sucks. Bye. They had to show me who Bobby was. Never heard of Offset. In the my water? Life. Yes, you have. I have not. I Googled Damn. you on the way here. I had to go on TikTok. I couldn't even Google you. You're not there yet, but you'll be there. <sighs> Are you gonna walk out of this interview with? I mean, now you can't because it'd be awkward. Awkward is good. Okay, so did you plan on doing that? Walking out on you? Mm hmm. Maybe. Was that a thought you actually had? Uh, I don't think sometimes. I can tell. I can tell you don't either. <laughs> I'm here with. Can you introduce yourself? Drake. Okay. That's not your name. That is my middle name. Yeah. That's not your real name. That's my government name, middle name. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Why would you go by that? What's your first name? My first name is Aubrey. Damn. I see where you go with that. Yeah. 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 I think my mom named me after a lawyer which rubbed me the wrong way. It's like there was something else going on, you know? I was named after a cheerleader my dad thought was hot. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. Bobby? Yeah. Yeah. Your name is Aubrey. Yeah. So don't. You're, 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 you're hot. What did he say? <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not, like, you're like, you're attractive. Why'd you get married? Why didn't you get married? I don't know. It seems like a... Thing of like ancient times or something. I wouldn't want to not be able to sleep around. <laughs> <laughs> Contribute as a partner. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Ah! I'll come to one of your shows. Are you inviting me to one of your shows? Yeah, I'd love it. Am I your type? Um, I'd do it. Thank you. There's, you, you not an it. <laughs> I know, I just felt like. <laughs> it's not funny. Physically, what is your favorite type of, what's your type? I appreciate beauty in many forms. You are so desperate. <laughs> just anyone. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck. Would you ever get a BBL? No. Why not? What do you mean? That's a surgery. Yeah. No. You wouldn't just like pop out with just a crazy wham Absolutely scheme. not. A few moments later. I already have one. Really? I'm already really like. What? What is this? For what? Why? 
a few moments later. Bobby Althoff's husband, Corey, just filed for divorce. Now, Bobby and Corey were married back in January of 2020 and were married for about three and a half years before they separated and no longer were living with each other in July of last year. Just so you have a reference of roughly when they were separated during Bobby's career, this was around the time that she did her interview with Drake. Once they were separated, Corey and her were no longer living with each other for about six months before he officially filed for divorce this week. And before people say, oh, he's probably divorcing her so we can get a piece of the money that she made from her very successful podcast, Corey's actually a senior vice president of a very successful company, and so they're both really successful people. And alongside with that, when he filed for divorce, he checked a box saying that he doesn't want alimony, meaning that neither of them have to pay one another after the divorce. The reason that he wrote down for the divorce is that since July, they've had irreconcilable differences and that honestly, it's just not possible for them to stay together. Situations like this are extremely tough, especially since they have a one-year-old and a three-year-old together. Now, they have filed for joint custody, but I know that that's just brutal on kids. But that's my opinion. What do y'all think? But then there's always the industry plant gag. I know. You're not an industry plant, right? I am. What is the industry plant to you? Like, it means, like... I don't know. I mean, like, the industry is, like, healthy. <laughs> you like, I don't know where. What do I think industry plan is? It's, like, somebody that is tied to someone else in the industry mm -hmm. and uses those connections okay. to capitalize, and they, like, have zero talent. And I, oh. That makes more sense than do you, what I thought it was. Well, so. you do feel kind of planty. We do have the same manager. Yeah. It feels a bit planty. You Blue. got here in five minutes. It took me 20 years. Ooh. I, hey, it has been a minute. Yeah, it's true. Ask about it. Ask. Ask. 20 years, you started so young. <laughs> yes, girl, I've been working hard. Yeah. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. Ultimately, I said what I said, and I meant what I said.